Good morning! So today I am going to be doing something that I haven't done in a while and I'm pretty psyched about it. But um, before I tell you all about that, I gotta jump into a sponsorship. So this video was sponsored by Aveda. They sent me over some products from their Nutra Plenish line to try out and share with you guys. So I got a bunch of goodies. I got the shampoo, I got the conditioner, towel off, falling off. Um, I got the daily moisturizing treatment. I got the curl gelé, the leave-in conditioner, and I also got the multi-use hair oil. And what I really like about this line is that you can get the products that work for your hair and your hair type because they have a light moisture option and they have a deep moisture option. I went with the deep moisture products because they are richer and they have 50% more plant-based butters than the light moisture ones. And my hair can get extremely dry, very thirsty, and it just needs all the hydration it can get. So I felt like deep moisture definitely is what I need. So I used it already. I just went ahead and washed my hair, freshly washed, still damp. And I used the Nutriplenish shampoo. I do have to say this was very rich. Like when I poured it out into my hand to apply it, it just felt so rich and creamy. But even though it was super rich, it didn't make my hair feel extremely heavy or like it had a ton of product in it. And it lathered extremely well. So I really like this. It felt like it got my hair ultra clean. I rinsed the shampoo out and then I applied the Nutriplenish conditioner and just like the shampoo the conditioner was very rich it was really creamy and full body and it coated my hair it made it feel very well coated like some conditioners they're very thin and it doesn't feel like they're doing much this one it kind of felt like it was penetrating all of my hair and I really like that and these products are free of silicones they're free of parabens they have no mineral oils they have no sulfates in them and they're also cruelty free 100% vegan definitely a plus and they have a really nice light botanical scent to them very nature inspired so I washed with the Nutriplenish shampoo got my hair super clean I conditioned in the shower and while the conditioner was in like always like I like to do I detangled and I put my hair into these four little sections by the way I used my favorite detangling brush of life which is this Aveda paddle brush I've been using this so long y'all know how much I rock with this brush so I use this in the shower of course rinsed everything out and that's all I did. I don't have anything in my hair right now. So I'm just gonna take this all down. I'm gonna do my hair first and then move on to my makeup because I'm getting ready for the day, you guys. It's about, what time is it? 9.55. I'm trying to get, you know, an early start heading out today but yeah this is me all my glory no products in my hair right now and today I'm gonna go with a really sleek low ponytail like a braided one I haven't done that in a while and I just thought that would be nice a good hair look for today keeping it simple but still you know kind of giving a little bit of glam but my hair right now just off the rip with no products feels hydrated feels really springy like it a lot so now I'm gonna take the Nutriplenish leave-in conditioner I'm gonna spray that all over I'm gonna also really concentrate it on the ends of my hair because those tend to be the driest parts. And this leave-in conditioner is Aveda's first nutrient-powered all-day moisturizer formulated for especially dry hair. It contains mango butter, coconut oil, and pomegranate oil, which is rich in omega-5. And this is pretty lightweight. It doesn't feel super heavy at all, but it definitely does feel moisturizing. So I'm working that in, give all my strands a light coat. And this basically replenishes your hair, it hydrates it. I believe it said up to 72 hours, so pretty long lasting. It has a naturally derived UV filter in here, which helps to protect against the drying effects from the sun. They recommend that you use this on damp hair, but you could also use this on dry hair for a moisture boost. So if you're between washes and your hair is dry, just spray some of this on there and you're good to go. And then you can also use it as a pre-wash treatment. So there's a couple different ways that you can use this leave-in spray. So right now what I'm gonna do, well first I'm just straightening this middle part. So now that I got my part looking pretty good, I'm gonna use the Nutriplenish multi-use hair oil. Couple 
pumps of that. I'm gonna put that on top just to help lock in the moisture even more and also to add some shine to my hair. And my hair right now in its natural state, it can be a little difficult to get it all in one sleek ponytail. So I'm going to create two ponytails just to make this easier. I'm going to section off the front. Then I'm just going to take my paddle brush and brush through this hair in the back to smooth it out so there's no lumps, no bumps, and get it stretched out. And I'm actually really liking how easy it is to just brush through my hair with this leave-in conditioner in it. Very nice. Gather all the hair to the back and brush it flat. Then put that into a ponytail. Then just take the rest of this down and we're going to blend this with the hair in the back. Front is where you want to try to get it super smooth, as smooth as you can. Add some gel. Brush it towards the back. Just like that. Then you just want to go in with a bristle brush to get it ultra flat. Then once it's looking pretty good, just take another elastic band. Make another ponytail. So I'm going to add some hair to this once my edges are laid, but for now, just to keep my hair stretched, I'm going to go ahead and plait this hair in the back. Then I'm just going to shape my edges, so a little bit more gel right around the front. I really feel like this sets the style off because it just adds that flair and it really frames your style and your face. Alright, so that's the basic foundation. Now I'm going to take my scarf and tie down my edges. Bada bing, bada boom. So that is what I did with the help of my new Nutriplenish products from Aveda. I do have still to try the Curl Gelée and the Daily Moisturizing Treatment. I'll definitely give these a go. You guys visit Aveda.com to learn more about the Nutriplenish line and yeah that's that. All right while I do my makeup I'm going to tell you guys my plan for the day. I am basically just doing whatever my heart desires today because I have been working so hard lately and I've got to the point where I've kind of started to feel overwhelmed, overworked, burnt out and when I get to that level I usually know it's time to take a break, it's time to take some time to myself, you know just regroup, recharge. So today is Thursday on Monday I was like I really need a break, I really need to just take a random day and just do whatever and not do any work, not do anything, not worry about anything, just take some time for me. So I was looking through all the stuff I had to do and I was like Thursday seems like a good day. I can get all my work done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, boom, everything is blocked out. And Friday, if I do need to catch up on something, I can. And I really like taking my little recharge days on a weekday because it kind of feels like you're skipping school. It just <laughs> it feels so nice to be out and about while you're really supposed to be at work. Right now I don't have like anything that I really want to do. I'm thinking well I'll probably start at the mall. I haven't gone to the mall in ages probably since last year sometime. I enjoy more shopping online but I don't know for some reason I wanted to go to the mall today so I was like I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go there and like I said it's like nine almost ten now I'm trying to hurry up and get out so I can be there pretty early so that there aren't that many people there hopefully and if I see something that I like I'm gonna treat myself and just make a day of it maybe get something really good to eat and I don't know what else but we'll see we'll see where the wind blows me sometimes on my me days you know on my pamper days I'll go to the spa I really like going to the spa but today I just thought I want to be out and about it's really nice today it's like nice and sunny and perfect weather I just wanted to be out in the elements be out why does my eyebrow look like that hold on so let me actually do my makeup because it's so hard for me to do makeup on camera especially because my mirror like if I move it closer it'll be in the frame um, so let me do my face and I'll be right back. Face is done. I feel like I just stepped out of my phone booth like Superman. Is it Superman or Spider-Man? I feel like it's Superman. 
Anyway, got some braiding hair already been washed. Is this one pack? It looks pretty skimpy. I guess it's one pack. Unbraid this. Divide this hair into three and I'm gonna feed it in three pieces. Usually I would do this in the bathroom where I have, you know, my full mirror and everything. I don't have that right now and I'm not gonna stress myself out about it if it's not perfect. Braiding my real hair and then I'm gonna start adding the braiding hair in. So I'm gonna do one like that. One piece of this hair. Yeah, it's braid. Got my long braid. And now I'm gonna take down my scarf. See how my edges are doing. She's feeling a super cute right now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's peep the before and after. Outfit of the day, keeping it, you know, casual, comfortable, but still cute. So I have on my shoulder pad tee from ASOS, my denim skort, Zara, my most comfy slides ever from Topshop, and then of course, all my jewelry. Boom, boom, bracelets, bracelets, <laughs> necklace, my Adrian key hoop earrings, which I wear all the time, they're my favorites. All my jewelry from Second and C, of course, my jewelry line. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, did you guys notice? I have new flooring. Just had all the carpet pulled up in my house. I always hated carpet. I <laughs> have wanted it gone for so long and I finally got rid of it. And I got it replaced with this like a light gray, kind of whitewashed gray floor. Low maintenance, it's waterproof, everything. So I love it so far. Initially in this room, I had like a darker gray floor, but I decided to keep everything continuous and just have everything the same throughout. So I ripped up the floor and replaced it in here as well. It's a lot brighter. I feel like it makes my room look so much more vibrant, opens up this space a lot more and it makes my room look a lot bigger. So I'm enjoying the, the vibe in here. But yeah, that was just a sidebar. So let's go ahead and skedaddle. <gasps> like a lot of people had the same idea as me today and felt like having a me day because it's a lot of people out here just walking fro frolicking around at the mall i just parked and there's like a lot of cars and it's only noon <laughs> like why aren't you guys at work but let's go ahead and see what we can find Ugh. this is super cute little knitted top i like this one too What I would really like to find is um, like a sundress. Gonna check H&M, Zara, maybe Free People, see what they have. definitely out for summer because the mall is bustling i really wanted to go to zara but when i walked in the line from the cash register was all the way to like the door and i quickly made a u-turn i was like we're not gonna do that so <laughs> i really didn't get much i only got two things just a black ribbed bodysuit but i really like um how it looks on low cut in the front i thought it would be a nice summery top i really need some more basics to just throw on like that this was 78 what brand is this a gold 78 bucks i know could have found something for cheaper at zara but i wasn't fooling with them and another a gold top is just this um gray ribbed one this is not a bodysuit it's just a regular tank top this one was 68. i feel like every time i go to the mall the few times i go um, I'm reminded of why I really venture out there, why I do most of my shopping online. It's just so much easier and then it's like you walk and walk and go to this store, that store, this store and you come out with not that much. All that energy for what? But we're not going to let it kill the vibe. 
I am about to go and grab some lunch. I gotta figure out what I want. What do I have a taste for? Oh, hold on. Let me let me turn my air up. It's hot. What do I want for lunch? Let me figure that out and you'll see in the next clip, maybe. Making a pit stop. We get some sweets. I'm not just scared. Just got my lunch. I decided to get ramen. I got a spicy vegan ramen and I also got these crispy Brussels sprouts. Mmm, so good. <laughs> Ideally, I should have eaten this in the restaurant because it really wasn't crowded. But I don't know, is it just me? Like, I feel kind of weird going to restaurants by myself. Like, it's one thing to sit at the bar, have a drink, and maybe have some peanuts or something. I can do that fine. But just sitting at a regular table and eating food by myself, it kind of like, I don't know, it just makes me feel weird for some reason. I know, like, a lot of people say to bring a book or, you know, we have our phones now. How can you read a book and eat at the same time? Like, you got to hold it open with your hand, with the other hand, eat. So... I'm eating my lunch in the car. I just hope I don't get this everywhere. I'm trying to be careful. I don't know what it is though, because I'm totally fine with eating by myself when I'm traveling, like especially when I'm out of the country. It's so easy for me. I don't care at all. It's just when I'm in America, it feels like I'm weirded out by it <laughs> for some reason. That's so strange. I just realized that because I travel, well, I don't travel alone much, but I have traveled alone a couple times and Maybe it's cause it's like necessity type of thing and I'm like, say la vie, but who knows, who knows. This is what my bowl looks like. The noodles are under here. They gave me a separate container for the, the liquid to put in there. That's the thing I'm worried about, like transferring the liquid into there. All right, I have successfully added my broth to my noodles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, look at all that goodness. Put some paper up here so I don't get stuff all over the place also you guys I stopped at Whole Foods and got some drinks so I got this watermelon water and this strawberry Italian sparkling mineral water haven't tried either of these which one do I want to have with lunch I'm gonna go with the mineral water mmm I like it I like it I'm gonna actually go ahead and taste this watermelon water too so I can give you guys a review. See if I like it. It has watermelon filtered water and lime juice in here. No sugar added. Mmm, okay. I'm not mad at it. I just got it on a whim, but I like it. We're gonna stick with the mineral water though for my lunch. Only thing. I wish I had soy sauce for my Brussels sprouts because that would be really good. Whoa, see what I mean by ramen gets messy? Ah, peace and quiet, kind of in nature. I have some trees around me. I don't really talk about everything that I do, but I do a lot, you guys. A lot behind the scenes, a lot that um, most people don't know about, even the people that I know. Because I don't really talk about I've always kind of been this way. I never really have talked about in depth about my work, even when I was in corporate America, because I don't know, I'm just kind of like that, you know? It's very gratifying to be your own boss and to, you know, like today, I really felt like I needed a day off and so I took it. I'm very thankful that I'm in that, I'm in this space where I can do that, but I have also worked very hard to get to this point. I feel like it's very important, even if you are you know, working a nine to five or are, you know, you're not an entrepreneur. I still feel like it's important for everybody. Every now and then take some time on the weekend or whenever you're free, take some time and do something for you. Take some time, be a little selfish. The saying is so true. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Oh my God, I'm getting stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to be all deep and I'm getting juice all over the place. Ate about half of my ramen. I'm gonna save the rest and have it for dinner that along with the rest of my Brussels sprouts and when I get home I can put it with some soy sauce because I wanted to leave room for dessert I got vegan chocolate chip cupcakes these things we love so much in my house 
I buy these all the time, so I just got these for the house. But these donuts, I have, I really love, when I was a kid, I really loved these like plain donuts. And I saw that they had the vegan ones at Whole Foods, and so I wanted to try them. So let's try them out. Ooh, they're really soft and moist. Thumbs up for me. I'm kind of full, so I'm only gonna eat half of this donut. Ooh, this is so good. Delightfully sweet. It's not too sweet. Um, compliment to my lunch. I feel kind of crazy drinking out this big bottle, but it is what it is. I don't have a cup. I think I'm just gonna sit here for um, a little minute, watch some more cars go by, just get my zen on, relax. I feel like it's a lot going on around me right now. A lot of people moving about. <laughs> There's a car parked beside me. He just like ran into this place right here because there's no parks. Um, so I might just move spots <laughs> into something a little more quiet, a little more serene. I don't know yet, but just going to chill out and see where the rest of my day takes me. I don't have anything in mind, so we'll see. Stopped at Target. I'm looking for a mat for my kitchen. Where would that be? So I popped over to Target because I really needed to get a new kitchen mat. The one that I had, which I had to take up, was too thin. And every time you walked on it, it would like move around and stuff. And it was just getting too much of a headache. So I wanted another one that was thicker that could grip the floor. And I don't know like why I couldn't find any in Target. They probably have them, but I could not find them. They have so many bath mats, but the kitchen ones, you know, the plush ones, that kind of squishy a little bit. That's what I want. I couldn't find those. Anyway, I was like, you know what? I'm done ripping and running the streets. I can't find my kitchen mat. I'm just gonna <laughs> call it a day, go back home. But when I get home, I want to have a relaxing bubble bath. So I did get some bubble bath products. Keep the vibes going, keep the calming vibes going and have a nice soak, wind down some more and call it a night. I think there's also a new show that I wanna watch, like a special, so. I'll probably check that out too. But yeah, you know, overall this was a really nice chill day. I, you know, enjoyed myself. I think it's so important just every once in a while, do something random, break up the routine because, you know, variety is the spice of life. So get out there, do something different. This was nice, but this is the end of the road for you guys. I'm gonna keep it going when I get home and relax some more. But before I go, I do wanna say thank you again to Aveda for sponsoring this video. I did get some compliments on my hair while I was out. I was feeling real cute and all that. Hope you guys had fun hanging out with me. Let's do it again sometime. And I'll see you guys on my next one.